Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is January 3rd, 2020. This is my Cheros episode about C++ GUI programming using Qt on Windows for the first time. Disclaimer, I know nothing about Qt. Before we install Qt on Windows for the first time, we have to install Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. As of today, January 3rd, 2020, Qt does not support Visual Studio 2019. However, through this series of videos, we will learn some fundamentals and basics about Qt. Then in future episode, when Qt finally support Visual Studio 2019, then we will learn deeper into Qt. Disclaimer, I know nothing about Qt. If you are learning C++ GUI programming using Qt on Windows for the first time, I highly recommend you this book, C++ GUI Programming with Qt 4. This book is almost 10 or more years older, but still when we start something for the first time, the older proven book is sometimes more useful. Or if you want to purchase from Amazon, please double click this link. From Amazon, you can also purchase this book. In my case, I purchased second hand book. If you haven't installed Visual Studio 2019, please double click this link and install Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. In your web browser, search for download Qt offline installer. Hit enter. Double click this link. From this link, click the latest Windows host. Depending on your internet connection, it will take some time. I already downloaded it, so I will exit. In your download folder, this file will be downloaded. Please double click it. Click Next. I accept the service terms. Click Skip. Click Next. Please accept default installation folder. Click Next. Select All. Unselect MSBC 2015. Unselect All MSBC. We don't need ARM for the time being. Also, we don't need search 2 bit. We are learning fundamentals, basics about Qt. I will not install Android. I will not select Qt script. So, I selected MinGW 7.364 bit. And I unselected Qt script. In developer, and the designer, I will last select MinGW 32 bit. Strawberry Pearl can be useful, so I will select it. Click Next. I have read and agreed to the terms contained in the license agreement. Click Next. Next. Install. Now click Finish. So our Qt creator is started. Close it. At this point, I highly recommend you to reboot your machine. This session continues after rebooting my machine. I rebooted my machine. Click Start button. Right click. More. Open file location. Copy, paste. Open C drive, Qt. In this folder, bin, please remember this folder. Click type. It should be BAT file. Right click. Q10B2 Edit 
delete this file. Save it. Now close it. Right click. Properties. Change icon. Browse. SH. Shell DLL32. Click open. From this file, I will select this icon. Click OK. Click Apply. Whenever you see this icon, this is Qt command prompt. Now in D drive, devsoft tutorial, I will create a folder. Hello, Qt. Hit enter. Double click. Copy the folder. Copy. Paste it in start in field. Click apply. Click OK. Now double click it. QMake. Version. Hit enter. G++. Version. Hit enter. So you have see this message. Now close it. Drag and drop to your taskbar. Now you can delete this icon. Click start button once again. Right click designer. More. Pin to taskbar. Right click linguist. More. Pin to taskbar. Click Start button once again. Expand. Right click. Pin to taskbar. In future episode, we will use Qt Creator and Qt Designer and Qt Linguist. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.